Dr. Zakia, Ramadan is truly a wonderful month, and I felt it always felt myself that um, brothers and sisters come together, and there seems to be a wonderful bond in that month between us all. Is there any special message about Ramadan and brotherhood? Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that the Muslim is one body. All the Muslims, they are one body. And if we analyze and if we look around, all the Muslims, we are different. We are diversified as far as language is concerned, as far as color is concerned, as far as the race is concerned, as far as the country where we come from, we are diversified, different. But we are united under one statement, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. That there is no God worthy of worship except Allah and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Messenger of Allah. So based only on this kalma, the Muslims throughout the world are united. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Hujurat, chapter number 49, verse number 13, Ya ayyuhan nasu, inna khalaqnaakum min zakrin wa unsa wa ja'alnaakum, shu'ubam wa qaba'ila li ta'arafu. Inna karamakum in the law yatkaakum, inna law alimun kabir. Which means, O oh, humankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female. And I have divided you into nations and tribes so that you shall recognize each other, not that you shall despise each other. And the most honored in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the person who has taqwa. The criteria for judgment in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not caste, is not color, is not race, is not sex, is not wealth. It is taqwa. It is God consciousness. It is piety. And this month of Ramadan, Allah says in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 183, لَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So that you may learn self-restraint, so that your taqwa may increase. So more your taqwa increases, all the Muslims in the world, they are united. Because we are like one brotherhood. Caste, color, creed cannot differentiate us. We are one. And in the month of Ramadan, our taqwa increases and the brotherhood increases. And the best example of brotherhood was even at the time of the Prophet. The Sahabas came from different countries, different colors, different races. We have the example of Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him. He was a Quraysh. We have the example of Bilal, may Allah be pleased with him. He was from Ethiopia. He was a Ethiopian. We have the example of Shweb, may Allah be pleased with him. He was Roman. We have the example of Salman Farsi, may Allah be pleased with him. He was from Persia. So we have from different, different countries, different, different days, different, different colors. And if we go down the line of the history of Islam, further, we have the same thing. We have Imam Bukhari. He was a great scholar. He was from Bukhara. He was not an Arab. We have Muhammad the Conqueror. He was from Turkey. He was a Turk. We have the example of Salman Ayyubi. He was a Kurd. Then we have the example of Allah Iqbal. He was from India. So what we know that we have Muslims from different parts of the world. And this brotherhood we learn more in the month of Ramadan because our taqwa level increases in Ramadan. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, this is hadith of Bukhari, volume number one, hadith number 468. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that one faithful believer, one Muslim to another Muslim is like a brick of a wall and he clasped his hand like that. And the beloved Prophet also said, it's hadith of Sai Muslim, volume number four, hadith number 6219 that the beloved Prophet said, one Muslim should never oppress the other Muslim. He should not fail him. He should not lie to him. He should always be truthful. And one Muslim cannot go against another Muslim. So that is the brotherhood which our beloved Prophet taught us. And the best we learn is in this month of Ramadan.